In this tutorial, we would like to introduce you to the Empower Layout tools and give you tips on how to use them to make your work in PowerPoint even more efficient. With the Layout tools, we provide you with a set of powerful formatting tools that allow you to quickly adjust, place and reform multiple content. There are two ways to open the Layout tools. First, we have the Layout Tools button, which you can find in the quick access bar. This way, you can use your usual workspace and show the layout tools with one click as soon as you need them. If you don't have the quick access bar on the right side of your PowerPoint window displayed, you can also go to the Align area in the Empower ribbon. If you click on the layout tools here, you'll also be taken to the various tools on the right. If certain functions from the layout tools are used frequently, you have the possibility to show them directly in the Empower ribbon so that you have access to open options with one click. Therefore, click on the Options icon in the upper right corner of the Layout Tools in the Quick Access bar and the Layout Tools will be added to your ribbon. Now let's get into it and introduce some functions in detail. First, positioning of elements. To adjust the position of one or more objects on the slide, first select the desired elements. Then, under Position, you can align the element or all selected elements to the defined guidelines with one click. Next, Arrange. In the Arrange area, you'll find PowerPoint native functions. With Empower, however, you have another function that is particularly useful, the concept of the reference object. With the help of a reference object, you can align the shapes not only in general, but using a specific element as a reference. To set the reference object, simply click on it again. After all shapes have been selected, the reference object is now marked with a frame and you can align the elements using it. If no reference object is selected, the edge of the slide is used as a reference. So I'm going to undo the setting here to show this case too. Now no reference object is marked, so Empower uses the edges of the slide as a reference. Resize. You can quickly resize objects after they have been selected. You find this option in the Resize section. Here you have the choice to adjust the width or height or both together. If you have selected several objects, you can click them several times to go through the different sizes. Objects take on the size of the smaller shape the first time you click on them and the size of the larger shape the next time you click on them. If you are not satisfied with the changes, you can undo them as usual by pressing Ctrl and Z. Of course, you can also work with the already shown reference object to define a size in advance. Furthermore, you'll find buttons to align several elements, either to the drawing area or to each other, by setting an aforementioned reference object. Stretch. In this section, you can align elements to the drawing area with just a few clicks. If you haven't inserted content directly in the placeholders, you can easily do this by using the Fit to Area function. Of course, you also have the option to adjust an element only in width or height to the drawing area. Probably the most time-saving option for existing presentations with imperfectly aligned elements is the ability to adjust the spacing of the elements on a slide with a few clicks. To do this, click the Same Margins Horizontal or Same Margins Vertical button in the Stretch area. A window opens where you can enter the desired distance and specify whether the elements should be adjusted in the selection or the drawing area, which may change the size. In this case, we want to fit to selection and here we are going to show how it looks to fit to the drawing area. If you do not want to resize the elements, you can use the third option do not resize. As you see, after confirmation the elements will be aligned automatically. In addition, you can use the Position Painter in Empower Slides. If you have already formatted an element perfectly and need this format for further elements, possibly on a different slide, the Position Painter comes into play. Here you can use the Learn function to remember the size or the position of an object. After you have activated the desired properties, navigate to the corresponding target element to which the position or size should be applied. Let's look at a quick example here. We use this shape to copy the height and width 
and click on Learn. Then we choose a target shape and apply the specifications. This is how easy you can apply specifications from one shape to another with Empower Slides layout tools. Last but not least, selecting objects. The layout tools also give you some functions to select objects. For example, you can select all objects with a certain property on the slide. This can be the color or the same type. You'll find the corresponding functions in the area select. So let's look at a quick example here too. We click on the blue Harvey ball and then go to the select area of the layout tools and choose select same color. Now all blue Harvey balls are selected automatically. Furthermore, you will find functions for grouping as well as the button for access to the selection pane of PowerPoint in which you can also select invisible elements. Now it's your turn. Get started and try out these features of Empower Slides yourself. If you have any further questions, please feel free to contact us.